downtown Dallas on a beautiful Thursday afternoon. It is hoops heaven as the opening full day of NCAA tournament in full swing. And we have an intriguing matchup for you here. Opening round, a 6-11 matchup and Loyola. Good backcourt play, a very well-rounded team that won 28 games. Missouri Valley Conference regular season and tournament champions. That point guard position. He's got that old man quickness. A senior out of Philly, top 10 in school history and games played. His 127th appearance today. Look at Crutwig. Incredible agility. Couldn't see the forest, but he certainly dug for that <laughs> acorn right here. Here's Ben Richardson now out front to Custer. That's a three. And Loyola moving in front. And that's the Missouri Valley. Shot from Hewell won't go. And Richardson the other way. Here is Dante Ingram. And look at the senior dialing it up from way deep. You can see coming off. Being able to, the rotation was not there. Andre Jackson slipped right underneath. Beautiful pass. He caught it. What I love the use of the pump fake to get him an easy deuce. Yeah, he just slipped that screen, opened up to the ball as he should, fundamentally sound. Here's Clayton Custer. Now out front to Ingram. Ingram, such a fantastic athlete, able to get right into the teeth. Small right now, the Ramblers. If it goes inside, they're looking to double. 10 to 1 run by Loyola, Chicago. Play clock down to two as they bottle up Walker in the corner. And the shot too late. See right here, they use a lot of high screen and roll. This is Custer underneath to Crutwig. Third mm. basket for the big fella. Put it on the floor, got a little closer on the ball fake. Probably would have gotten a foul and possibly an and one. See the shooting nice slip. The Ramblers beautifully done as Jackson rolls to the cup. Really turns the ball over that much, but Miami's gotten themselves in trouble. Six turnovers thus far. They only turn it over about 11 times per game. Jackson left wide open. It's a player not letting him get over the screen. The big is helping down. You've got to be able to attack that big and make a play. Look at that pass. Beautiful find. Custer to Crutwig. Clark Valley Conference. Rebound, rebound. Got it. Taking some contact, unable to put it down, and help the floor comes Marcus Towns. Towns all the way to the cup. Four point game. My Time man out Miami. He went coast to coast. First class. Muggard Hunt Hill Bridge, downtown Dallas. Some very impressive ball movement by the Ramblers. As you can see, Clayton Custer doing a nice job off these screen and rolls. They are slipping it there. Andre Jackson, they have seven assists, but watch Clayton Custer on this one. Great space, but what's helping him land is guys are moving their bodies without the basketball. That's the key for a lot of young kids out there watching. Don't just stand, move without the basketball. And also Clayton. Front with the big freshman, first to the corner. What a pass inside the Skokna. Incredible vision by the big fella. There's no rim protector out there for Loyola. As good a center on the offensive end as Crutwig is, he's not going to block any many shots. Custer tried his hands again from deep. This time he puts it down. And we talk about the offense because we've seen some outstanding plays on offense. Jackson, the Dallas kid back in his hometown. A clean roll and a clean bucket. 11-4 extended run for Miami. Richardson staying in the game, and look at Towns. Masterful. First half, no call. And the rebound corralled by Custer. Up the floor to Williamson. Another beautiful shovel pass inside to Jackson. The paint. Down five here after the Azundu free throws. Porter. Moser just stole some minutes with Andre Jackson playing the center spot to Cameron. Got a chance to step, step back in, and there's Williamson. It's the steal. First player to the floor was Chris Likes, and he got it. And that's a big time block by Ingram. And let's go pick it up after he knocked down that three point shot. I'm sure if Wardenberg heard of Mo Malone growing up in New Zealand. Ingram from deep. Splash! 
Oh, he got a ball game. I just love that possession. Hesitation. Under eight minutes to play. Custer! And now it's a heavyweight fight. I mean, they are going back and forth, and we're seeing players knock down shots. Richardson, after turning his left ankle earlier in the half, staying on the floor, showing some toughness. Jackson. Cook Hewell, resourceful. Jeopardy. Here's Williamson holding. We come up on the final 60 seconds. Custer from deep. Splash! We are tied at 60. That was a huge play. You call that hammer where the ball goes on one side, and then there's an up screen. Beautiful call by Porter Moja, the coach. He's been able to come get the basketball. Somebody else has to come help. Gotta go quick. Logan popped off of his leg. Wow! A defensive gem by Williamson. First free throws today. <laughs> Missed it. Here they Five come. Left. One timeout. They don't take it. Oh! Show you that Ingram three. That's just nice. Like you can see, the defender was right there, but he got a chance to knock it down. But before that, fellas, Loyola Ramblers got that rebound and made that play possible. And Ingram shot that one into a nice little home run trot. Beautiful shot by Dante. You know how that feels, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I definitely do. Ingram, Missouri Valley Conference Tournament MVP, had 18 points in the final to defeat Illinois State. See, there's the foul. Point three, three. Long pass. Deflected, and it's over. March Madness Magic as the Ramblers from Loyola, Chicago, moving on to the second round. Their first NCAA tournament victory in 33 years.